Hello, everybody. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome. Good to see you. Thank you, man. Okay, let's begin. I'm going to share the screen with you. Um, just a moment. Okay, there it is. And now I'm going to take the attendance. Okay. Just a second, it's loading. Okay, here it is. Um, Braulio Heriberto Velázquez Mejía. Braulio Heriberto Velázquez Mejía. Carlos Alberto Martínez Alvarado. Present teacher. Thank you. César Alejandro Aparicio Mendoza. Present teacher. Thank you. Claudia María García Rodríguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Damaris Isabel Castellanos Tobar. Present teacher. Thank you. Toribel Arelí Arriaza Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Elí Antonio Sandoval Colindres. Present. Thank you. Esmeralda Isabel Martínez Orellana. Esmeralda Isabel Martínez Orellana. Herbert Adán Miranda. Herbert Arán Miranda. Isabo Elizabeth Torres Amaya. Present teacher. Thank you. Jacqueline Elizabeth Guevara Centeno. Jacqueline Elizabeth Guevara Centeno. Jacqueline Rebeca Cermeño López. Present. Thank you. Jaime Adonai Durán Hércules. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, uh, Jennifer Raquel Ayala Vázquez. Present. Thank you. Jesús Eduardo Escobar Carranza. Jesús Eduardo Escobar Carranza. Juan Carlos Maravilla Méndez. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Abigail Aguilar Rodríguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Catherine Yasmín Guatemala Arias. Catherine Yasmín Guatemala Arias. Laura Concepción Mena Garay. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Fernando Linares Sierra. Present. Thank you. Luz Clara de la O Fuentes. Present teacher. Thank you. Marina Esmeralda Martínez Ramos. Teacher. Teacher. Esmeralda dice que está enferma, que no puede ni hablar. Ahí está, está conectada, teacher, pero, pero no puede hablar. Está okay. conectada. Ok, ok. Esmeralda. Yo también me llamo Esmeralda. Uh, sí, pero creo que... Es la, bueno, no eh, sé. Eh, ah. es la otra Esmeralda, creo yo. Ah, ok. Yes. Que sería Martínez. Esmeralda Martínez, ajá. A ver, Así vamos es. a ver acá, permítame, solo le contesto a ella. Solo un momento. Ok, let's continue. Uh, Raúl Antonio Pérez Escobar. Present teacher. Thank you. Rebeca Abigail Calderón Cruz. Marina dice que aquí está. Bueno, se conectó. Mire. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, uh, Rebecca Abigail Calderón Cruz. 
You hear? René Giovanni Martinez Aguilar. I am here, teacher. Thank you. Ruth Marielo Samaya de Guardado. Here, teacher. Thank you. Salvador Enrique Palomo Gómez. I'm ready, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Saúl Alexander Lozano Calderón. Present. Okay. Thank you. Wendy Lisette Carías de Cedillos. Present, teacher. Thank you. Voy a mencionar a aquellos que no me han contestado aún. In the chat we have... Okay. Braulio Heriberto Velázquez Mejía. Is Braulio here? Present, teacher. Thank you. Esmeralda Isabel Martínez Orellana. Present, teacher. Thank you. Um, la dos son Esmeralda Martínez. Sí, ya vi. Mismo nombre, mismo apellido. Ok, Her Herbert Adán Miranda. Present. En el chat, en el chat le escribió, teacher. Present. Herbert. En el chat. ¿Cuál chat? En... Present, teacher. Ok, ahí, ahí está. está. Ok, thank you. thank you. En el chat much. del Zoom le escribió. Ok, thank you. Jacqueline Elizabeth Guevara Centeno. Jesús Eduardo Escobar Carranza. Present teacher. Thank you. Catherine Yasmín Guatemala Arias. Present teacher. Thank you. Rebeca Abigail Calderón Cruz. Present teacher. Thank you. Solo nos falta una persona. Okay. All right, um, everybody, welcome. Once again, this is Inglés Pre-Intermedio, Módulo 3. And this is me, Ivan Doñang, at your service. This is session 11, and today is June the 7th of 2023. So everybody, welcome. Let's do this. So a review, okay, superlatives. Okay, so um, you have this. Box A is bigger than box B. And box A is bigger than all the other boxes. That's why we say box A is the biggest box. Okay. Box A is the biggest box. So um, now you have the hotel prices in Kington. Okay. The Europa Hotel is more expensive than the Grand. And in fact, the Europa Hotel is more expensive than all the other hotels in the city. That's why we say that the Europa Hotel is the most expensive hotel in the city. So these are superlatives. When you say bigger, older, more expensive, etc., are comparative forms. And the biggest, the oldest, the most expensive, etc., are superlative forms. All right? Now, superlatives have uh, rules, okay? We, when we have one syllable adjectives, then we use the, and then we end with EST. So old, for example, becomes, let me zoom in, old becomes the oldest, slow becomes the slowest, and nice becomes the nicest. So again, this is when they have one syllable, only like old, slow, nice. Now, what's next? Okay, when you have one syllable adjectives ending in consonant, vowel, and consonant except W, you have to use the plus an extra consonant plus EST. For example, you have big, one syllable, and it ends in consonant, vowel, and consonant. So you say the biggest double G. Okay? Hot, again, this is a one syllable adjective. It ends in consonant, vowel, and consonant. So you say the hottest, double T. And then you have thin. Thin has one syllable only, and it ends in consonant, vowel, consonant. So you say the thinnest, double N. So remember this rule. But what happens when you have two or more syllable adjectives? When you have two syllable adjectives ending in Y, 
you have to change Y for I, E, S, T, and you have to begin with the. For example, easy, two syllables, and in Y, you say the easiest, I, E, S, T. Heavy, two syllables, and then in Y, so you say the heaviest, I, E, S, T. Early, okay, two syllables, and it ends in Y, you say the earliest. And finally, you use the most for adjectives with two or more syllables. If the adjective has two, three, four, five syllables, then you use the most. Examples include careful, two syllables, the most careful, expensive, three syllables. You say the most expensive, intelligent, four syllables. You say the most intelligent and interesting four syllables, you say the most interesting. And you have some examples. The church is very old. It's the oldest building in the city. What is the longest river in the world? Money is important, but it isn't the most important thing in life. El dinero es importante, pero no es lo más importante en la vida. And then, excuse me, where is the nearest bank? ¿Dónde está el banco más cercano? So where is the nearest bank? Now, remember one thing about superlatives is that they always use the, okay? The, you see? The oldest, the slowest, the nicest, the biggest, the hottest, the thinnest, the, the, the easiest, sorry. The easiest, the heaviest, the earliest, the most careful, the most expensive, the most intelligent, the most interesting. Así que no olviden, los superlatives llevan the. Okay, hay que ocupar the. Now, there are some special cases right here, like in this case, some irregular adjectives like good. The, the superlative is the best, bad. The superlative is the worst, okay? So you say Mike is a good player, but he isn't the best on the team. That time I was in hospital was the worst week of my life. Now look, the oldest and the eldest. Ah, sorry, there's also far. Like the farthest is the superlative. Okay, this is the farthest I've ever been from home. Now the oldest and the eldest. The superlative of old is the oldest. For example, that church is the oldest building in the town. But look at this, very important. We use the eldest with an E only when we talk about people in the family. But if you don't want to use it, you can also say the oldest, no problem. Example, their eldest son is 13 years old. But you can also say their oldest son is 13 years old. Are you the eldest in your family? You can also say, are you the oldest in your family? and so on. Now, we did this exercise, so we're not going to repeat it. We're just going to skip it because we did it yesterday. So you have this. Now, this exercise is new. Write sentences with a superlative, like the longest, etc. Choose from the boxes. So what do you have to do? You have to choose one element from the first box. You combine it with a superlative form from the second box. Then you choose another element from box number three, and you finish with another element from box number four. Example, you have, and I'm going to help you here because I forgot, Sydney is the largest city in Australia. So Sydney is the largest city in Australia. Sydney es la ciudad más grande de Australia. Luz Clara. Cuando pregunte el segundo, teacher. Okay, number two. Your turn. Okay. Everest is the highest mountain of the world. In the world. So Everest is the highest mountain in the world. Okay, good. Everest is the highest mountain in the world. Es la montaña más alta del mundo. Thank you, Luz Clara. Very good. 
What about number three? Vamos a ir en este orden. Según la primera caja, vamos Sydney, luego Everest, luego sigue Brasil, luego Alaska, luego the Nile, and then Jupiter. Ruth Marielos, Brazil, what do you have? Brazil is a launch country, the South America. Okay, so you used uh, long, right? Okay, sorry, long. Mm. Uh -huh. But my question is, did you did you choose long? Eligió long in este caso? Large. Large. Okay, large. So what is it? Brazil is again? Uh, long. No, no, no. Country. Uh, dicho, oh, dicho, large. large. Uh -huh. Sí, so, sí. Uh -huh. Esa fue la primera. Okay. Uh -huh. Brazil Diga. is large country the South America. Okay, pero no me está ocupando el superlative the large. ¿Cómo sería entonces? Uh, largest. Ok, pero le falta algo todavía ahí. Brasil is the largest mm -hmm. country in mm -hmm. South America. In, in the South America? In, in South America. South America. Ok, Brazil <laughs> is the largest country in South America. Ok, Brasil es el país más grande de Sudamérica. Thank you, Ruth Marielos. Uh, number four. Now you have Alaska. What about Alaska? Volunteer, please. Okay, who can help us? Number four. Rebecca Abigail and then Wendy Lisette. And then Jaime, number six. Okay. Alaska is um uh, highest mountain the the world in the world that is number two actually everest is the highest mountain in the world okay alaska um Excuse me, teacher. Okay, no problem. But thank you for participating. Thank you, Rebecca. Wendy Lisette, what about number four? Puedo probar con otro o tiene que ser Alaska? Tiene que ser Alaska porque ese es el que sigue en orden de animación. I'm sorry. Se puede programar en PowerPoint, digamos, animaciones en orden eh, que uno quiera. Sin embargo, requiere mucho más esfuerzo a la hora de prepararlo. So, no es el caso de esta diapositiva. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> It needs to be Alaska. Alaska is the highest country on the world. In the world. Well, Alaska is not a country. Oh, it's a, a state. Ah. Alaska. Alaska, ah, okay. is... Alaska is the largest state in the world. Mm -mm. In the what? In the world. No, it's not in the world. In the USA. In the USA. That's right. Alaska is the largest state in the USA. Mm hmm. That's right. Okay, thank you. Hi, Melanie. Number five. Everest, yes? No, not the Everest. Everest is number two. Ah, uh, uh, yes. Now it's <laughs> denial. 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 Ah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, denial. Teacher, could you say denial? Denial. Ah, uh, en español, ¿qué es denial? El Nilo. El ah, el río Nilo. Ah, el Nilo. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. The pronunciation is Nile. The the Nile. Mm -hmm. okay. The Nile is the Nile is the Nile is the the Nile is the Lausian River in their world. Again, the Nile is the what? Sorry. The Nile is the longest river in the world. 
The Nile is the longest river in the world. Um, yes, it's true. Okay, it's true. Pero ya ocupamos the word. Así que quisiera que me lo cambiara. Ya ocupamos the word. Entonces, okay. Entonces sería de the South America. South America ya lo ocupamos también en el número tres. África. Ok, the complete sentence, please. Sería, the, the Nile is the long, longest river in the Africa. The Nile is the longest river in Africa. That is correct. Thank you, Jaime. Very good. Luis Fernando, number six. Ok. Um, six is the Jupiter, right? Jupiter, yes. Jupiter, ok. Jupiter is the highest planet in the solar system. Well, no, it's not the highest planet. <laughs> you need to choose a different adjective. Not high, a different one. I choose in between high, large, or wrong, right? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay. Jupiter is the large planet in the, in the solar system. Okay, so you say Jupiter is the largest. That's a superlative. The largest, el más grande. Jupiter is the largest planet in the solar system. Jupiter is el planeta más grande en el sistema solar. It's very big. Okay, Jupiter, super big. Okay. Luis Fernando and then Juan Carlos, do you have any questions? No, sir. Okay, Juan Carlos, do you have a question? Yes, si puedo mandar esa captura al grupo. Okay, no problem. Thank you. Welcome. Okay. Now, complete the sentences. You need to use a comparative or a superlative. Mucho cuidado, aquí van revueltos. Comparative or superlative. Acuérdese que en los superlatives siempre va a ocupar the. No se lo ocupa. Si usted no lo pone, está malo. So, we, number one, who wants to try? Cuidado, el adjective está ahí al final, en rojo. Pero usted tiene que decidir si va a ocupar el comparative or superlative. Okay. So what about the first one, please? Saul Alexander. Is there a uh, the most cheapest hotel in the town? How many syllables? How many syllables are there in cheap? Two. Do we say cheap or do we say cheap? Cheap. Cheap. Mm -hmm. How cheap, many syllables? Cheaper. We say the cheap. Cheapers. Okay, can you repeat it? Cheapest. The complete sentence. Ah, we stayed. We stayed at the cheapest hotel in town. We stayed at the cheapest hotel in the town. Okay, the cheapest. El más barato. Okay, thank you, Saúl. Rebecca Abigail, number two. Or hotel was cheaper than all the others in the town. Okay, our hotel was, again, please. The cheaper. Mm, not exactly. Is this a comparative or a superlative? Um, the cheapest, the cheapest. 
Okay, but if you say that was the first one, that was number one. You say we stayed at the cheapest hotel in the town. That's the first one, the cheapest. But now look, our hotel was blah, 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 than all the others, the others in the town. La clave está aquí, aquí dice then. So you need to use. Uh, okay. Uh -huh. Our hotel was. Okay. Cheap, cheaper. Cheaper than all the others in the town. Estaba más barato que todos los otros. That's a comparative okay. form because you're comparing the hotel with the group of all the other hotels. Thank okay. you. Okay. Okay, Jaime, number three. Los demás tengan la want... mano. Un momento, nada más, perdón. Eh, si quieren okay. participar, levanten la mano, pero no se desanimen si no llamo su nombre de inmediato, porque a veces observo que llamo un nombre diferente y la baja, ¿verdad? Hay muchas más, ¿ok? Hay muchas más que pueden, en las que pueden participar. Si quieren participar, levanten la mano, manténganla levantada. Mientras no termine el ejercicio, tienen una oportunidad de contestar. Simplemente le doy la palabra al que levantó primero. Ahí me aparecen en orden de quién la va levantando. Ok, so, Jaime Adonai. I was filled with yesterday. I, I wasn't feeling. Sorry, I wasn't feeling well yesterday, but I feel good in, good in today. Good in. No, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, maybe I Marina, know. Sorry. Marina, maybe Marina Esmeralda can help us. Number three. Marina Esmeralda. Ah, sorry. <laughs> no puede hablar dice es cierto no puede hablar dice no puede hablar pero me levanta la mano por participar <risa> en el chat le puso la respuesta teacher. en el chat quiero ver ah aquí está la respuesta ok ajá uh -huh. I wasn't feeling well yesterday but I feel better today ok thank you Marina Esmeralda ok good uh, Wendy Lisette number four please what is the most expensive thing that you have? What is the most expensive thing that you have? Correct. Thank you, Wendy Lisette. That's a superlative. Ruth Marielos, number five, please. I prefer this chair the, to the other one. It's the most comfortable. How many chairs are you comparing? Uh, No es superlativo, es comparativo. Ajá, pero ¿por qué? Um, no es por el número de sílabas. No, no, en realidad el número de sílabas nada más nos ayuda a saber cómo lo vamos a, digamos, formular. Si Ajá. le vamos a poner EST o si le vamos a poner the most al principio. La pregunta es, eh, usted me dijo, ¿verdad que es un comparative. Es, ajá, ajá. ajá. Uh, no, es, perdón, es, es un superlativo. No es un oh. superlativo, de hecho, es un comparative form. Pero la pregunta es, ¿cómo sabemos? La respuesta es esta. Si uh. usted está comparando dos cosas nada más o dos personas, entonces comparative. Uh -huh. Si está comparando tres o más, superlative, para indicar el máximo de todos ellos. Ah, okay. okay. Entonces, aquí uh -huh. dice, I prefer this chair to the other one. You are comparing two chairs, okay? Uh -huh. Two uh -huh. chairs right here. Así que, ¿cómo nos quedaría? Uh, no es entonces the most comfortable? No. Sería the most comfortable si estuviera, si estuviera comparando tres sillas o más. Uh -huh. Y entonces dice, de todas las sillas, esta es la que le gana a las otras en nivel de comodidad. The most comfortable. Ahí sí. Pero aquí está comparando únicamente dos sillas. Por lo tanto, vamos a utilizar comparatives. ¿Cómo nos quedaría entonces? No, creo que no lo sé, dicho. Ok, no problem. Thank you, Ruth. Ok. Let's see. Uh, Luis Fernando. 
pay. When you convert it, I think it's a pro I prefer this chair to the other one. It's more com comfortable. Is that the pronunciation? It's more comfortable. Comfortable. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's more okay. comfortable. Okay, correct. Thank you, Luis Fernando. Aquí vamos a ocupar el comparative. La forma de comparative sería more comfortable. Okay, porque solamente estamos comparando dos sillas, una contra la otra. Okay, thank you. Juan Carlos Maravilla, number six. Eh, Amy and Ben have three dollars. Eh, the order is 40. Can you repeat it? The what? Amy and Ben have three dollars. Three dollars. The order the is older 40. Is 14. The older. Mm, there is a problem. How many daughters do they have? Es comparativo. Pero cuántas hijas tienen? How many daughters do they have? Two. Three. Two or three? Three. Sorry. Three daughters. Okay. Now we are comparing Entonces three people. Aha. Uh -huh. The oldest. The oldest or the eldest. The, the oldest. Mm -hmm. The oldest is 14. La mayor uh -huh. de las tres, okay, tiene 14 años. Okay. The oldest or the eldest is 14. Okay, thank you, Juan Carlos. Braulio Heriberto, number seven. Um, <clears throat> who, who is? Who, who is? Um, sorry, who is? Uh, oldest person you know. You forgot something that is very important. Who is? Um, Older. Ahora nos estamos alejando más. Nos estamos alejando más. Como lo tenía estaba bastante bien, pero le faltaba una palabra clave. Who is? Oh, the the old, old, oldest. Who is the oldest person you know? ¿Quién es la, la persona mayor? O, sí, la, la persona mayor que conoces. Ok. Nunca vayan a decir la más mayor, pero... Ok, so, who is the oldest person you know? Mm -hmm. Ok, Ruth Marielos, number eight. Um, teacher, es una pregunta. Okay. Eh, lo que pasa es que tengo una duda, pero en el comparativo se ocupa eh, more, no, sí, more. Y en el superlativo es the most. The most. Pero eso ¿Sí? cuando el adjective tiene dos o más sílabas. Ajá, ajá. Ajá. Ah, ok. Pero sí, sí correcto. Esa era, okay. esa era la pregunta, Ticha. Ok, no problem. Ok, uh, Wendy, number eight. What is the... What is... More quick way to get to the station? Mm. Teacher really. is the, the superlative quick, quickest. Uh -huh. Okay. What is the quickest way to get to the, the station? Yes. What is the quickest way to get to the station? Quickest. Correct. You say the quickest because quick is a one syllable adjective. So you say the quickest. Okay. Thank you, Liz. Uh, Wendy said. Juan Carlos Maravilla, number nine. Uh, the microphone. I can't hear you. ¿Sí me escucha? Yes, I can hear you. Eres is the... Oh, wait, 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 wait. That's number 10. <laughs> ah. Number 9. Which is the kit the was on the right? The how, ma how many things are you comparing? The, the kit set. Are you comparing two things, three things, four things? How many things are you comparing? 
Two. Two, okay. So if we are comparing two, what do you need? Do you need a comparative or a superlative? Sería kicker. Aha, so you say which is? is the kicker, mm. the bus on the train. Okay, so we say which is quicker? Quicker. Which is quicker? The bus quicker. or the train? ¿Cuál es más rápido? El bus o el tren? Como solo está comparando dos cosas, usa un comparative. Which is quicker, the no, bus or the train? Ahora, si okay. estuviera comparando varias, digamos, the bus, the train, the boat, and the airplane, I see, son varias. I see, which is the quickest? The quick. The quickest, okay. sería en ese caso. Okay, number 10, thank you. Hi, Melanie, number 10, please. If there is... The race is lar. No. 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 Um, Everest is the higher mountain in the world. Again, Everest is? Um, ha higher, highest, uh, the, the highest, sorry, that higher. Everest is the highest okay. mountain in the world. Okay, and then? Um, it is, it is um, higher than any other mountain. It is higher uh, than any other mountain. Okay, correct. The first is a superlative. The second one is a comparative. Okay, very good. And the last one. Who can help us with this one, please? ¿Quién se anima? Luis Fernando. Vamos a ver, Luis Fernando, la primera parte y Rod Marielos, la segunda. Ok. Ok. Time uh, is very sharp. Do you have a. Time is very sharp. Do you have. Um, Sharp, sharper, sharper. Yep. Oh. Sh Do you have a sharper one? Correct. Yeah, yeah sharper one. Tienes uno okay. más afilado. Okay. And then Ruth Marielos, the last one. No, it is um, sharpest one and how. Okay, you forgot one important word. Sorry? You forgot one important word. No lo entiendo, teacher. Se, se le olvidó una palabra importante ahí. Uh, um, the sharpest. Mm -hmm. It's the one sharpest I one I have. Es el más afilado que tengo. It is the okay. sharpest one I have. Okay. All right. Thank you, everybody. Thanks for your participation. Okay, let's continue. Here's a uh, knowledge check 4.6, everybody. And what is that? Instructions. Complete questions 1 to 5 with comparatives and questions 6 to 10 with superlatives. Use the adjectives given in to you in brackets. Complete las preguntas 1 al 5 con adjetivos comparativos. Y las preguntas 6 al 10 con adjetivos superlativos. Use los adjetivos que se encuentran dentro de los paréntesis. So it's the same thing that we have right... Uy. Creo que olvidé las animaciones. Uh, excuse me, give me a moment, please. I need to correct this mistake. Animations. Okay. This is going to take only one minute. 
a menos de un minuto. Ok, hoy sí. All right. Juan Carlos Maravilla. Dígame. Nada, yo creí que era para contestar las preguntas. Ok, vamos. So, complete questions one to four with comparatives. So, from one, two, three, and four, you use comparatives. Five, six, seven, and eight, you use superlatives. Okay, so uh, the first one, Juan Carlos, please. Sería, which country is smaller? Smaller. Monaco or Vatican City? Which country is smaller? Monaco smaller. or Vatican City? Okay, you are comparing two countries, so you use a comparative form. Which country is smaller? Monaco or Vatican City? Thank you. Rebecca Abigail, number two. Which which waterfall is higher, Niagara Falls or Angel Falls? Yes, which waterfall is higher, Niagara Falls or Angel Falls? Okay, thank you. Thank you, Rebecca. Ruth Marielos, number three, please. Uh, which city is more crowded, Hong Kong or Cairo? Which city is more crowded, Hong Kong or Cairo? Correct, thank you, Ruth. Braulio, number, number four. Which lake is larger? Uh, larger the Caspian Sea or Lake Superior? Yeah, which lake is larger? The Caspian Sea or Lake Superior? Okay, Superior. thank you. Thank very good. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, uh, también recuerden, recordatorio, ¿verdad? Aquí, si ya participaron, pueden bajar la manita para que no se me acumulen en pantalla y pueda ver quién sigue. Okay. Uh, Tamaris Isabel Castellanos, Tobar, number five, please. Number five, which place is more famous? Taf, Taf, Mahal of wall of China. Um, are you reading directly from the exercise in 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 the platform? Uh, because here uh, it's, it's a different question. Oh, yes, yes, uh -huh, yes. Uh -huh. One moment. Okay. Which is um. um here. He gets highest. Highest Mount Kawa, Mount Everest, or Mount Fuji. Okay, which is the highest? Mount Akungawa, Mount Everest, or Mount Fuji? Okay, so it's Mount Everest, definitely. Okay, thank you, Damaris. Wendy Lisette, number six, please. What is longest river in the world? You forgot Nile, something. Sorry. What is? The longest. The longest. Okay. River in the world. The Nile or the Amazon. What is the longest river in the world? The Nile or the Amazon? Okay. Good. Thank you. Carla Abigail. Number seven. Which city is the most expensive? Tokyo, Moscow, or Hong Kong? Which city is the most expensive? Tokyo, Moscow, or Hong Kong? That is correct. Thank you, Carla. Luz Clara, number eight. What is the, the best ocean in the world? The Pacific or the Atlantic? What is the deepest ocean in the world? The Pacific or the Atlantic? Okay, there you go. You have deep. Very good. Okay, just give me a moment. 9.47. Okay, we're about to finish. Teacher. Yes. But in this, in the, the last one, number A, what is the deepest ocean in the world? The Pacific or the Atlantic? But in this case, we compare it two things. Let's see. But, 
Ah, you're, you're right. Yeah. Aunque la instrucción nos dice from, um, from five to eight with superlatives. Yeah, we're so, talking about the word is okay. Uh -huh, Maybe uh -huh, we can uh -huh. say what is the, the deepest is. okay in the word, and the word yeah. is five, but you if we, right. we compare two things, I think the, the, the sentence has to change, right? But the thing is, in, at the beginning, they say, what is the deepest ocean in the world? Okay. Um, you have a point right there. What you're saying is true. However, sin embargo, okay, they say, what is the deepest ocean in the world? Because there are seven seas. But then they limit the choices to two oceans, the Pacific or the Atlantic. Okay. Maybe this is a person who is just checking information. Imagine yeah. a kid is asking you, for example, hey, dad, what is the deepest ocean in the world? Maybe he knows that maybe, maybe it is the Pacific or maybe it is the Atlantic, but he or she is not sure. So, si nosotros quisiéramos preguntar entre estos dos, sería which, okay? Ah, by the way, you have which is deeper or which ocean is deeper? The Pacific or the Atlantic? Okay, so in this case, um, we are limiting this to only two oceans. We are not taking the other ones into consideration. But in the question at the beginning, they are taking all of them because they say, what is the deepest ocean in the world? It can get a little bit confusing because after that, they mentioned the Pacific or the Atlantic. Okay, just what you told me. Um, it sounds to me, again, like this person has an idea that maybe the Pacific, well, probably this person knows that it's either the Pacific or the Atlantic. But yeah, but because the, sure. and the, and the, and the teacher, with, because in the first, in the first sentence, mm -hmm. is, is maybe in, in, included the five, mm -hmm. the five ocean, right? Mm -hmm. But in the second part, the, in the, in the second sentence, is specific with two, with mm -hmm. two things, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. That's I, why it becomes a bit confusing. But yeah, what is the deepest ocean in the world? When they say in the world, that automatically includes all the oceans. So you're comparing all of them. Como le decía, aquí probablemente la persona que lo pregunta dice, ¿cuál es el océano más profundo del mundo? ¿Es el Pacífico o es el Atlántico? Es válido porque a pesar de que está limitándolo a dos, al final, igual está preguntando cuál es el más profundo del mundo. En otras palabras, no está seguro si es uno o si es el otro. Pero sí, hay ahí una, eh, tiene, digamos, eh, razón en lo que dice que lo está limitando a dos. Pero al principio, ¿verdad? Decimos in the world, por lo tanto, superlative. A Luz Clara tenía una consulta. No. No, teacher. Yeah. No, no, okay, no. <laughs> Okay, let's continue. So uh, we have very little time, so we need to hurry. Lesson objective in this session, you will learn to pronounce in order to sound natural when asking questions of choice. Okay, en esta clase aprenderás a pronunciar para sonar natural cuando hagas preguntas de elección. Give me a moment. Okay, so uh, that's uh, 4.7. So pronunciation, questions of choice, okay? Listen to the intonation in questions of choice. Then practice the questions in part eight of exercise three again. So you have this, take a look. When you are asking questions of choice, the intonation goes down, then goes up again, and then goes down again. So it's like down, up, down, okay? If you have more choices, then you continue like this, like the second one, down, up, up, down, okay? Examples, which city is bigger? Look, well, not look, here. Which city is bigger? Bigger, okay? It goes down, 
Which city is bigger, Bangkok or Beirut? Okay, so which city is bigger, Bangkok or Beirut? And the second one is, which country is the most interesting? Okay, it goes down, interesting. Korea, Brazil, or Greece? Okay, that's the thing. So when you ask the question at the beginning, because this is an uh, information question, first, the intonation goes down. But after that, when you present the first choice, the intonation goes up again. And when you present the final choice, the intonation goes down. If there are many options, then you go up, 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 and finally you go down, like in the second one. Which country is the most interesting? Korea, Brazil, or Greece? Okay, that's intonation in questions of choice. So what are we going to do? We're going back to these questions right here. And I want you to, I need volunteers to read them with the right intonation. Saul Alexander. <clears throat> Which uh, country is? Uh, sin miedo al éxito, vamos. Uh -huh. Sorry about the interruption. Which Please country? Continue. Which country is smaller? Monaco hmm? or Vatican City? Yes, very good. Which country is smaller? Down. Monaco, up. Or Vatican City, down. Okay, very good. Thank you, Saul. Number two, Ruth Marielos, please. Which waterfall is higher, Niagara Falls or Angel Falls? Okay, uh, I'm a bit confused about that, but okay. Which waterfall is higher? Goes down. Niagara Falls goes up or Angel Falls goes down. Okay? okay. All the first options go up and the final option goes down. Thank you, Ruth. Okay. Wendy Lisette, okay. number three. Which city is more crowded, Hong Kong or Cairo? Okay, solo al principio creo que nos falló un poquito. Which city is? More crowded. Aha. Uh -huh. Hong Kong or Cairo? Okay, good. Which city is more crowded, Hong Kong or Cairo? Okay, very good. Hi, Melanie. Number four. Which lane is lawyer the Scapian Sea are liars superior? Mm, okay, you started okay, but then there's a problem. So you say which which lake is larger? And then which lake is larger? Mm -hmm. Which lake is larger? The mm -hmm. Scapian Sea Liar Superior? Okay. Vamos, aquí tenemos dos opciones. The primero sería Caspian Sea. Y la segunda opción, Lake Superior. En la primera opción, la entonación sube. En la segunda opción, la entonación baja. En la última. Okay. Bien. Okay, ok, pero hay que leerlo un poco más pausado. Si usted me lo lee así todo de corrido, entonces eh, no se puede apreciar eso. Veamos. Which lake which, is larger? Which lake is larger? Ah. The Scapian Sea or Lake Superior? Me hace, digamos, en la primera opción, a media palabra hace la intonation up y en la segunda me termina haciendo intonation up al final. Un poquito diferente. Vamos a ver si nos ayuda Claudia María. Es four, ¿verdad? Number four, yes. Uh, okay. Which lake is larger, the Caspian Sea or Lake Superior? Okay, which lake is larger? It goes down, the first one, because the, the, the first question or the beginning of the question, it goes down. So which lake is larger? The Caspian Sea? The Caspian Sea or Lake Superior? Okay, it's like down, up, down. 
Okay, thank you, Claudia. Number five, Braulio Heriberto. Which is the highest? Mm, Do we say which is the highest? No, it, because it's an information question. It falls down, it goes down. So you say which? Which is the highest? Mm -mm. Oh, sorry. Okay. Which is the highest? Aha. Uh -huh. Mount Aconcagua, mm -hmm. Mount Everest, uh -huh. or Mount Fuji? The last one? Um, or, or Mount Fuji. <laughs> okay, Fuji. All right. So, yeah. Which uh, is. Which, uh -huh. which, <laughs> okay, no problem. So which is the highest? Mount Aconcagua, Mount Everest, or Mount Fuji? Okay. Mm -hmm. The options are up, 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 but the last one is always down. So which is the highest? Mount Aconcagua, Mount Everest, or Mount Fuji? We have a chat entry right here. Fuji says my name. Okay. All right. So Thank you, uh, you're welcome. Wendy Lisette Carillas, number six, please. What is the longest river in the world? The Nile or the Amazon? Okay. What is the longest river in the world? The Nile? Or the Amazon. Tenemos aquí una situación parecida a la número 8, donde al final lo reducen a dos posibilidades. Sin embargo, al, al principio dicen in the world, así que ahí están tomando todos. Es nada más como para estar seguro cuál de los dos es, ¿verdad? So, what is the longest city in the world? The Nile or the Amazon? Ok, good. Ruth Marielos. Pero bueno, quiero ver aquí. Ruth Marielos y Jaime Adonai ya me participaron varias veces. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. But I want to listen to some other people. Okay. Juan Carlos Maravilla and Claudia Maria. Okay. So number seven. Juan Carlos, please. Which city is the most expensive? Tokyo? Okay. Careful, Moscow? careful, careful, careful. Again, can you begin? Which city? Which city is the most expensive? Okay. Tokyo? You're, you're doing rising intonation there. That's not correct. This is an information question, so it's falling intonation. So, again, which city? I think I want to always go down. Okay, but there's the thing that we have to learn to bajarlo. Uh -huh. Sería? Which city is the most expensive? Tokyo? No. Moscow? You're or having, Hong Kong? You're doing rising intonation. So, Repeat with me, after me. Which city is the most expensive? Which city and the most expensive? Ah, Tokyo? Which city is the most expensive? Then, uh -huh. which city and the most expensive? Uh -huh. Tokyo, Moscow, or Hong Kong? Mm -hmm. Good. Which city is the most expensive? Tokyo, Moscow, or Hong Kong? Okay, good. Thank you. Claudia Maria, the last one, number eight, please. <laughs> what is the deepest ocean in the world? The mm, Pacific? Careful, careful, careful. The question, <laughs> the information question has falling intonation. So again, please. What is the deepest ocean in the world? Aha. Uh -huh. The Pacific or the Atlantic? Uh -huh. What is the deepest ocean in the world? The Pacific or the Atlantic? There you go. So yeah, that's the intonation right there. Okay. ¿Cuál es la clave? Acuérdese siempre que las information questions terminan con falling intonation. Las yes no questions terminan con rising intonation. Pero es, todas estas son information questions. Así que, which city is bigger? Luego las opciones van todas con rising intonation hasta la última. La última lleva falling intonation. So which city is bigger, Bangkok or Peru? And which country is the most interesting, Korea, Brazil 
or Greece. Okay, very important right there. Okay, so we're going to stop here. Vamos a parar por acá. Um, remember everybody that this, um, we are, uh, right now we're, we're, we're studying uh, section four of the material in the platform. So you have to finish this. Por eso que esto tiene que estar ya terminado para el día de mañana. Eh, recuerden que ahí en los grupos pues están los, los eh, administradores, ahí les están recordando todo el tiempo, por favor, conéctense a tiempo, con su nombre completo y vayan trabajando los ejercicios de la plataforma. Así que no permitamos que se nos acumule, ¿verdad? Tenemos que, ten que llevar eso bien al día. Mañana terminamos esta sección y nos vamos preparando para la otra semana para la sección 5, que sería la última del nivel Jaime. Una pregunta, Hadwesha. Yes. ¿Hasta qué hora tenemos para finalizar la, la, la sección? Eso no lo sé. <risa> Pero no, sí, okay. lo, es que lo, lo, más, lo más temprano. Falta bueno, la mitad. Metámosle entonces porque. Okay, sí, sí, ahorita lo voy a terminar. <risa> porque okay, mañana sí, se ya, ya, van a ser, ya va a ser medianoche, así que no vaya a ser que yeah. le vaya ahí. Ok. Yes. <risa> Thank, you. Thank you. Ok, everybody. Uh, antes de irnos, nada más tengo que llamar un nombre más por aquí. Sería Jacqueline Elizabeth Guevara Centeno. Centeno, are you here? Jacqueline Elizabeth? No? Ok. Thank you. Everybody, thank you very much. And I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Thank Good night. you. Good night. 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 Good night.